there's a lot of uh, API description formats and, 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 you, and there used to be perhaps more. We mentioned RAML and it has been consolidating particularly for RESTful APIs on Open API. But um, uh, Postman also did in part of this 2020 report uh, cited obstacles for adoption of APIs. And 52% decided the number one ob ob obstacle for adoption of APIs was the lack of time, followed by a lack of knowledge of how to do it at 36%. As an industry, the one ourselves in included, producing tool sets for API development and deployment, how can we help address these obstacles? Yeah, um, so I mean, that those two kind of things represent a lack of prioritization from leadership at these organizations. So a lack of prioritization of the APIs themselves and as well as a lack of, of prioritization of, of their employees learning these new technologies, learning, you know, what an API is, what an open API is, you know, what what how these things work. And so we've got to do a better job. And I think the OAI um, as well as the other specs as well as service providers, such as both of us, you know, how do we work together to better invest in documentation, collateral content that educates um, around, you know, APIs, because there's a shared value, a shared, excuse me, a shared um, benefit here. And I've seen it, you know, because I'm API evangelist, I started in 2010. And I, I'm at 5,000 blog posts now over, over the course of a decade and really with a focus on educating people and educating people who are developers, but also not developers trying to get to that leadership factor. Like this is, a, this should be prioritized and this is why it's not because it's just some new vendor solution or some new trend. It's actually fundamental to your business. So I think that educational process is going to address the lack of knowledge aspect of that, uh, you know, obstacle to adoption. Lack of time though is a different issue, right? So I'm wondering whether the tooling itself needs to improve, maybe more automation uh, is required. Um, how, how can we address address that lack of time aspect as tooling providers? Well, part of that is we got to educate the leadership because leadership carves out and allows for, for workers to have the time. So that's a big piece of it. Mm -hmm. But I would say we got to demonstrate that, hey, if you embrace open API and do open API well, you're going to be doing APIs better, meaning you're going to be designing, delivering uh, more consistent APIs, but then you're going to be integrating. And, and I would say this is just the, the next iteration or evolution of CI, CD is interoperability shouldn't be this hard. You know, it's like we should have open API specs for all the services that, that we need out there. And those shouldn't be hidden. Those should be publicly available, consistent, um, and, and up to date. And then the off layer on that should, you know, we've got a lot of, it's been a while since we need to invest more and in, in not just OAuth. But, I mean, JWT, but we've got to invest more in It's hard.